Once upon a time, there lived a selfish and shifty fox in the forest. Because he was always after something shifty, none of the animals trusted this fox. Nobody made friends with him. After a while, having no friends, the fox moved to a cave in the mountain next to the forest. One day, flying from the cold parts of the world, a stork came by. The fox was very happy that he finally found a friend. He immediately went next to the stork. Welcome, my dear stork. Do you want to be friends? Sure, but you're the shifty fox. How can I trust you? Of course you can. I have no friends here, but I think that we can be best friends. After a short while, bored of eating alone, the fox invited his new neighbor Stork to dinner. Happy about this invitation, the stork went joyfully to the fox's house. The soup that the fox had prepared smelled delicious. Preparing the table, the fox poured the soup in large bowls. The stork sat down on the table and the fox sat right across her. Bon appetit! I hope you like my soup. The fox was enjoying his soup from the bowl. But the stork could not figure out how to eat it from this large bowl. Although she could put her beak into the bowl, she could only get one or two pieces of rice. At the time the stork had only a couple of rice pieces, the fox had finished his meal. Thinking that the fox was very unthoughtful, the stork was very upset with him. But because she was the guest, she stayed quiet. I should be going, my friend. Thank you for dinner. But you haven't even finished. Didn't you like it? Never mind. I'll eat yours too. As the stork was leaving, the fox had already begun to eat the stork's soup. The stork sadly went home. She could not sleep all night because she was still hungry and very mad at her friend. We are two different animals. The fox needs to understand and accept this. But how? After putting some thought into it, the stork had an idea. She was going to teach the fox a good lesson. In the morning, she approached her friend with great excitement and invited him to dinner. The fox, of course, was very happy for his invitation. Thank you very much, neighbor. I'm so glad we're friends. After preparing the food, the stork selected a long and narrow bottle for herself and for her friend, the fox. The stork prepared rice for her friend and then she set up the table. She also put the water into a narrow and long bottle. After a short while, the fox arrived. I'm very hungry, my friend. Let's sit and start eating. The two friends sat down at the table. Well, bon appetit! The fox tried to eat from the narrow bottle in front of him, but couldn't. He couldn't even drink the water. The stork, on the other hand, could easily enjoy her food with her long beak. While the fox was trying to use the fork to get some rice, the stork finished all her food. And seeing how stunned the fox was, she asked, Ah, uh, my dear friend, you're not eating. Didn't you like it? If I could eat it, maybe I would. This bottle is not for me. With your long beak, you can easily get your food. But with my mouth, I can't. The stork was expecting this answer. Oh, my dear friend, do you remember that I left hungry after your dinner the other night because you had used bowls on the table which weren't suitable for me? Suddenly the fox realised his mistake. He was really sad that he put those large bowls in front of his friend, the stork. 
I am really sorry, my friend. I could not think that you would not be able to eat from those bowls. It's okay, dear fox. At least now you understand me. We have to learn to respect each other's differences. After this, the stork brought a large plate from which the fox could eat easily and put his food on it. The fox enjoyed finishing his food. When it was time to leave, the fox had an idea. Hey, stork, let me take one of your bottles home, so when you come to eat with me, you can eat your food easily from that narrow bottle. They don't call you the shifty fox for no reason. If you use your mind and shiftiness for good things like this, you and your friends will always be much happier. The fox and the stork began laughing joyfully. <laughs> <laughs> Months had passed before leaving to fly to warmer climates. The stork came to say goodbye to her neighbour, the fox. Being left alone, the fox returned to the forest. But he never forgot the stork's words. After that, he was never selfish and he became very good friends with all the other animals.